Fix your tie and we're gonna go see your friends. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is Dr. Quincy March and I'm his mom, Karen. Thank you for coming, buddy. He started out as just Quincy at eight weeks old. We didn't know he was gonna be a doctor, but we felt he had something special. He always had a calming effect on people. He did a couple basic obedience classes when he was a puppy, and then he was certified as a therapy dog two days after his first birthday on the first try. He is a natural. He was born to do this. Come on, let's go. Dr. Quincy's been visiting patients here at the hospital for almost eight years. He has a few dozen ties. He gets to pick each day what he feels that is best for him. So today he went with the red power tie. It makes him feel more confident and professional. He has to always have his stethoscope and he has his, his Quincy MD ID. Hi everybody. I think Quincy's biggest fans at the hospital are the nurses. Dr. Quincy's just as much of a breath of fresh air to the patients as he is to the nurses. The hospital is it's an intimidating place. And then when you see this giant dog walk in, you know, it just makes you feel like yourself. Cool kisses. Sometimes the nurses will let us know which patients they feel could use a pick-me-up from him. And other times he seems to know he could just walk down the hall and say, this is the room I need to stop in today. Hi, hey, Dr. Quincy. It's very nice to have the pet therapy. Kind of get your mind off of what's going on. He's something that you're not going to forget in your hospital stay. When you see him come in and just chills out on the floor and just hanging out there, it was nice. Such a great thing because no one would expect a dog that big to come and visit and to be that docile. Dr. Quincy's goal each night is, is to make someone's day better. Even if it's just one person for a few minutes, he's done his job. Good boy. What a good boy. Quincy Marsh, and this is his lovely owner and loving owner. Her name's Karen. Quincy is such a love. So he's been doing this his his natural vocation for about how long? Eight years. He's been he's been working for eight years now. <laughs> Since two days after his first birthday, he's certified as a therapy dog. Isn't that amazing that he really found his calling in life? He did. He loves it. He loves the attention. He <laughs> loves to make people happy. What a gentle giant, yes. Oh boy. Yes. What does he do when he gets a day off from the hospital? <laughs> um, he, he likes to just lounge on the couch. That's, <laughs> this is my kind of fella. Well, you know that um, we have an animal line, yes we oh do, boy. of nutrition. Anything that we can do for Quincy, please, you just let us know. <laughs> what, how big is his paw? He has a big foot. He has a very big foot. Not as big as your heart, though. Your heart's even bigger. How much does Quince weigh? Quincy weighs 190 pounds. <laughs> That's three times my mother. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's beautiful. Thank you for the good work that you do. Oh, thanks. He really enjoys it. Quincy, I hope you like our, our food and our treats. We're going to have to send a very big truck for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have a feeling you have a good appetite. He likes to eat. Yeah, he's a good eater, I bet. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, look at that mouth. <laughs>